<laughs> bye bye Tangy. see you in 24 hours Cinder. We're budget travellers from way back and we've always found dorms to be a difficult budget option. Perhaps these capsules will be the answer. Come on. Our dormitory's dead? Come on, let's see how this ends. <laughs> Well, there's one thousand dong, <laughs> so it's starting pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Sinjo. Oh, we have a bookie. Yeah, thank you, Got a towel, got a towel. Nice new towel. Mm, nice See and the white. pillows. Pillows are quite firm. They're the way I like them. They're not too flat. They're a little safe. Okay, okay we've got a clock. We can see how warm it is. What the temperature um, what is. What the temperature is. We've got the jack for your headphones. They give you headphones. Um, so you can't just watch television and be noisy. A USB ceiling light. This is sleep mode. I'm assuming this will turn it off. Yep, let's try this again. There, okay, there it's back. Also, you lock the door here whenever you're in and you want to be in for the night, you lock this. Mirror light, ooh, gosh, bright. Put that up and down, another USB. Here we have a plug. And yep, you get a free bottle of water. And is that a bottle of water or is that a fire extinguisher? <laughs> it's a fire extinguisher. It's a fire extinguisher. <laughs> so we're all and set. some hooks, some hooks. Oh, this is handy. What have you got there? Tra tray table. Little tray table, so I guess you can eat something if you want to eat in here. You can use your computer. Nice. <laughs> and you've got a television there as well. I mean, really, for as small as this is, and it's not as small as I imagined, you've got everything you could need. I think that this is, at the moment, I'm thinking this is quite brilliant. I'm feeling optimistic. I still have some reservations though. It must be the ghosts of um, dormitories past. We'll see how it actually is at night with other people here. But as far as the actual space goes, this is great. And how much was it? $11 a night. Can you believe it? Like, of course, Saigon is extremely affordable, but $11 a night, that seems like next level. And we even got a nice little uh, welcome iced tea whenever we arrived. So really nothing to complain about. So steps on the bottom here and my bunk is on the stairs we go up so here i am exactly the same looks great oh look at this guys it's like being in a spaceship so futuristic but is it any good you'll have to hang around for the review but um it certainly looks good First impressions. This is awesome. I feel like I'm in Star Wars or something, or some futuristic movie. I never knew things like this existed. 
especially not a whole hotel full of them in Ho Chi Minh City in Saigon. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. It looks like it, it could be the new dormitories of the future. Yeah. And I mean, of course, I don't know how noisy it'll be tonight. A lot of noise. And that'll be the telling tale. But, you know, this takes care of a lot of the problems with traditional dorms, as far as I can see. Mm. What are some of those problems? Well, first of all, you've always got someone turning on the lights in the middle of the night, people in and out. Um, a lot of times the bathroom is attached and so they're in there being noisy, whereas this is across the hall. Um, in general, the smell sometimes, all kinds of things like yeah, that. Yeah, it's clean in here, isn't it? The yeah. air is fresh. And you know, you've got your privacy. And you've got your own personal air conditioner. Exactly, and it's it looks so clean. Like this is also a new place, but it's so clean in there. I'm really impressed with that. And in case you were wondering where the bathrooms are, they're just across the hall here. the men's and here's the ladies I mean a bit of a weird setup since I think they're the men's rooms in there and the women's rooms are on that side but we've got each other's bathrooms opposite it's pretty clean shower another shower Another shower, so we've got three showers and two toilet cubicles. And look at this, guys. <laughs> That's a futuristic basin setup, isn't it? Definitely futuristic. It's a bit of an overkill, it seems. <laughs> we've got a hair dryer, which is nice. Yeah. <laughs> works. Yep, works. Dry my sweaty hair. Uh, here we've got our soap. soap. Probably. Hmm. There's none in that. None in that one. None in that one. Hmm. Okay, we might not have soap. <laughs> There's some in this one. Okay, we now go to that one. <laughs> so only one has soap. And then here's the cup so you can get your water to rinse your mouth or whatever. It definitely has the look. It does, and it's quite functional. Yeah. Um, they could refill the soap dispensers though, especially if there are more than 10 staying tonight. Yeah. And this could probably be a little shorter <laughs> for shorties like me. It's a part of me. I can see my face. That's all that matters. Yeah, I'm partly in the thing too. <laughs> All right, looks Got good. Got the lockers. Yep. So, where's your locker? Let's have a look. Have a look. Tell Which me what's inside. Yeah. Okay, so okay. what have we got? We have some flip-flops, very handy for the shared bathroom. We have a remote for the television, and most importantly, we have a headset as well, so that you can't just blare your television in your little pod and wake everyone up. Yeah, that's good. I, ha I hope people use them. And I hope it, the TV doesn't work otherwise. This is pretty big. You could fit a small suitcase in there. I mean, of course, we've just got tiny a bags. Large one in yeah, there, right? so that's perfect. Let's see. Yeah, and there it goes. Locked. Locks on closure. Perfect. Yeah. Wow. Impressed. Very impressed. This might be my new go-to. We'll see how noisy it gets at night. And it seems like the Wi-Fi here is very good. Down at the cafe, absolutely superb. Up here in the capsules, not too bad either. So can recommend the Wi-Fi in this place. Down there is the Capsule Hotel, and we are at D Chill Bar. It's only a 10 minute walk to Boy Vien Party Street, and 30 minutes to downtown to the city center. Well, we are in for the night. I think I'm gonna need this. It's a bit cold with the air con, so nighty night for now. We'll tell you how this goes in the morning. Good morning guys, definitely a rough night, um, a lot of noise with people coming in and out, a lot of noise, I'm super tired, so the problems of people coming and going is still apparent in a capsule hotel, I'd have to say some of the people who stayed here last night were very inconsiderate, slamming the doors. <sighs> I probably got an hour or two hours sleep all up. 
it's now 5.30 a.m. and uh, I'm gonna get up and pack and go home. Having said all that, I would say that a pod is probably better than a dorm, essentially because you still have private space. I'll give the camera to Steph, she can sum up. Good morning everyone. I don't know if you can see this, but oops, it's gone out. It's 5.44 in the morning. I had a pretty good night's sleep here in the Capsule Hotel. Um, one thing that is the same as every dorm I've ever stayed in is it's still quite noisy. Um, especially like there were some people that seemed to think that these were soundproof especially early in the night so there was some giggling from next door and things like that uh, from the pod next door so it was still a bit noisy but it wasn't as noisy as a lot of places that I've stayed and also it was really nice not to have people turning the lights off and on because you're here in your own little space um, the doors to the pods are quite noisy as you open and close them, so I woke up a couple of times because of that, but then I could get straight back to sleep. So basically for me, for $11 a night, these are a win. Uh, definitely they got rid of some of the issues that come with staying in dorms. Temperature was good in here, so yeah, nothing to complain about as far as that goes. Nice fresh air blowing with the aircon. Really, the only issue was the noise. All right, guys, an eventful night. Um, as I said in my little summation, um, I didn't get much sleep at all. However, I was impressed that I had a private space and I was enclosed. Also, Highly air-conditioned, so really appreciated that in this heat. I think I had a better night's sleep, but it was still noisy. So if you've got some uh, earplugs that you usually wear whenever you're in dorms, you still might want to bring them here because it didn't get rid of that problem. No. So are dorms dead, Steph? Um, I guess for me, they've been dead for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> in that I don't think that I want to stay in a shared space unless I absolutely have to like this. Um, but I do think that these are a nice alternative. One thing that's kind of missing is the social um, aspect that comes with dorms a lot of times. Like, okay, there were a couple of people that were obviously friends, chatting and laughing, but you don't get to meet other travelers as much. So I think that there is still a place for dorms. But if you want your own space, somewhere quiet and something totally different, this type of place is a great place to come. Yeah, that's a good point. So because you're in a private space, you don't get the chance to interact and the common room here because it wasn't air conditioned people didn't hang out there and it was incredibly hot yesterday so uh, good reason why everyone stayed in the capsule area because it was the only air conditioned area yeah. all right guys i hope you like this look at a capsule hotel here in saigon um, i think they are the future whether they can usurp dorms i don't know um, but I'm not going to be the one to find out. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching. We're Girls on the Loose. Bye-bye for now. Catch you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>